everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at SeaWorld Orlando. Today we're checking out the Seven Seas Food Festival. So we're going to walk around, see the food kiosks, try some of the food. The Jackson's Band is going to be here, Brothers of Michael Jackson, so we're going to show you a few little clips of that. Every Saturday and Sunday this is going on all the way until April 15th. So if you're going to be at SeaWorld anytime or in the Orlando area anytime until April 15th, come check out SeaWorld on the weekends. They're going to have a different band every Saturday and Sunday and great food to try. So let's check it out. Thanks. Right now I'm here at the Mexican booth and these are the choices of food. I got the pork taco pastor. They also have corn. This is like corn on the cob. And these little fried crispy strip cinnamon sugar things look good. And I think this is adobo pork or mole pork over rice. So this is uh, chicken over rice. What are these called? Sopopillas. Oh, sopopillas. That's what these are. Awesome. Those look delicious. All right. We're going to give this a try. Okay, so I just took a bite of the pork taco. It's pretty good. The pork has a really nice flavor. Um, the red makes it's from the adobo sauce that they use. It has a really nice flavor. And all of the um, cilantro and the lettuce and the tomato salsa, it really gives it a nice flavor. So this is the taco pastor. Um, next time I think I would get that uh, chicken and rice. So good stuff here at the Mexican Pavilion. So they have all kinds of great entertainment as you're walking around also. This right here is the Mediterranean market. So each market is um, after a certain type of country or type of food. And they have a sea scallop provencal with wild mushroom risotto and a grilled lamb chop. Both of those look delicious. So I'm having a hard time deciding what I'm getting next. I'm kind of walking and seeing what all there is to try. So, looks good. Okay, next I got the corn and cheddar hush puppies. These are with a candy bacon relish. And this comes from the North Atlantic booth, which also has um, the New England lobster roll and a smoked venison sausage. So it's kind of more New England fare. All right, so let's give these hush puppies a try. Okay, I'd say that the candy bacon relish is what really makes these good. The relish is really sweet. It has a nice flavor. Um, I think the hush puppies by themselves are kind of boring. But when you put the relish on it, it makes it really good. So it's an okay dish. Um, but I don't know if it would be something that I would repeat when I came here again. I'm having an awesome day here at the Seven Seas Food Festival here at SeaWorld. Not only are we trying all of the great cuisine, but we're seeing a lot of the great wildlife that they have here. Check out these pelicans. Aren't they neat? And um, I've ridden all three of the major roller coasters here. I'm standing right next to Manta now. This one is awesome because you kind of fly like you're a Manta. So you um, face the ground and you lay flat the, the cart chips. So let's see when one comes around, you'll be able to see the track. I also rode the Mako, which is their really hilly coaster, which is my favorite. You come out of your seat um, five or six times from the lift. Here comes the Manta. So you're kind of at a neat flying angle there. And the other one I rode is the Kraken, which this past year did add virtual reality to the ride. But currently the virtual reality is not available. So you're just riding the ride as is, which I love the Kraken by itself. It has a lot of great inversions. I think it has like seven inversions in the coaster. And it's a great coaster. Um, I did ask about the virtual reality and they said that it's under refurbishment. So it will be coming back, but they're just refurbishing it. So that's kind of interesting because it was probably only on the track, the virtual reality, for about six to seven months. So we'll be curious to see what changes they've done um, once it's refurbed. So I will be coming back to check that out. Look at all these flamingos over here taking a nap. All right, so just a little sidebar of all the great things there are to see here at SeaWorld and make your day complete while you visit the food festival. 
Um, lots of other great things to see. The, all the shows are going on. They have um, Shamu, One Ocean. They have the Dolphin Show. And they have um, Sea Lion Show. They have a Pets Ahoy Show with trained cats and dogs that are all rescue animals. And you can just walk around the park and see all these animals that I'm seeing. So lots of great things to do here and fill up your day at SeaWorld. Now I'm going to head back to where more of the food kiosks are. Also, keep in mind, a brand new water ride is opening this summer, Infinity Falls. It's going to be a round raft ride, and it is going to have the tallest drop of any raft ride here in Central Florida. So if you're coming to SeaWorld this summer, you have something brand new to look forward to. I hear a singer and the speaker. I bet he's live somewhere. So let's check out where he is. And I'm coming down the main festival path. It's not too crowded right now, but usually by evening, this area fills up. Right over here is Bayside Stadium, and that is where the Jackson Brothers are going to be playing. And that concert is at 5 o'clock, so the concerts are always at 5 um, on Saturdays and Sundays. So we will be getting a seat for that and checking out some of that as well. in this area they have the smokehouse tavern it has chicken ribs and sausage so this is barbecue here and this area is going to be barbecue through march 25th and then the rest of the festival which goes to april 15th they're going to change this to latin cuisine so they're going to have a couple different types of menu here depending on when you visit the food festival Oh, and here they have loaded mini donuts. You have a strawberry and cream or chocolate and cream. Well, that sounds good. Yum. So all kinds of good stuff down here. You can buy a lanyard um, to purchase food at the food festival, or you can just purchase the food. So you can decide how you want to do things. Um, the food items run anywhere between $4 to um six dollars for the smaller plates and these larger plates are around eight to ten dollars but the lanyards will let you sample food and you can get um a lanyard for forty dollars it said that had 15 punches so you could get 15 different items it is good for the entire length of the festival so if you are a pass holder and you're watching this and you're going to come more than once you can buy it one day and have it for as many you know days until the thing runs out so if you only want to eat two or three or four things while you're here and save it till your next visit that's fine or if you're coming on vacation and you're going to come two different days you could split that between two days or you could eat everything in one day um they have a couple other options as well at different prices so you can decide what is best for you when you come down this way they got asian market and brazilian market so we're back to some of the different country cuisine so let's see what they have over here and you know what? I see a food and beverage sampling lanyard sign, so we'll look at that and make sure I quoted that correctly. Okay, so 15 items is $60, 8 items is $40, and 5 is $30. So you can choose what lanyard package would best suit you, how much you want to spend. You can also buy the items out of a la carte. This is the Asia menu. They have Peking duck lo mein and a char bio, char siu bao. Looks like a, one of their little ham, hand sandwiches. Looks like it's got pork in there. And this is a salted vanilla ice cream and it's got caramel popcorn on the top. So that looks really interesting. So you can always buy stuff a la carte if you just wanted to try a few things and not really want to buy a lanyard. So lots of different options here at the Asia booth. I may have to come back and get something here. Let's go over and look at Brazil. Look at these neat little classic cars too. Aren't they cool? Wow. Pretty nifty. Neat, neat. Is this yours? Awesome! <laughs> pretty cool. I get to sit here and show his car at the SeaWorld Food Festival. It's pretty neat. Okay, they have Brazilian churrasco. And a bacon wrapped sweet plantain. Brazilian chicken salad and Brazilian cheese bread. I had that at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. 
And that was pretty good, that Brazilian cheese bread. It's like a, a round ball of bread, and it has a big chunk of cheese in the middle. It's kind of like eating a, a roll with a mozzarella stick in the middle. It was pretty tasty. So, that looks like the bacon wrap plantain right there. Kind of neat. I think I would go back to the Asian market, though. Okay, so out of sheer curiosity, I had to get this salted um, ice cream with the caramel popcorn because this is just different. So let me give this a taste. Like, delicious. You can't go wrong with salt, sugar, and caramel, in my opinion. So it's basically a scoop of vanilla ice cream with caramel popcorn coated over it. Pretty neat. If you come to um, Asia at SeaWorld, order this. All right, let's try something else. Okay, this is the Gulf Coast Market, and they have shrimp and sauce, chicken and sausage gumbo, <laughs> and a shrimp po' boy, and cheese grits with shrimp casseroles. Oh, that sounds good, and bread pudding. Mmm, let's come over and look at the samples. Yum, look at that bread pudding, and the po' boy. If I hadn't just had that ice cream with the popcorn, which was delicious, I think I'd get that po' boy, but maybe next time. That's a good thing when you have the pass, you know, you can always come back. And across is the Polynesian market. What do they have? Let's come over and see their menu. Let's be in the front. Ah, here it is. Lumpia. Aloha mixed plate, pineapple tofu poke, and a Hawaiian dream cake. Mm. Some interesting things here. All right, let's keep seeing what other food they have. the German market. They have a Wiener Schnitzel slider. Yummy. I love German food. Knockwurst, pretzel wrap bratwurst, pretzel dipped footlong, chocolate dipped footlong pretzel. Man, chocolate dipped footlong pretzel. Check that out. A lot closer. That's the Wiener Schnitzel slider. That looks delicious. This is the chocolate dipped pretzel. I will be back here. I will be back. Again, more reasons to come back to the food festival here at SeaWorld. Boy, <laughs> I just can't eat all this stuff in one day. I've had three things and I'm already full. Plus it is also hot. It's the middle of the day and it's in the 80s, like 85 and humid. So, you know, you're not as appetized in the middle of the day when it's hot and you're trying to walk and everything. Um, but, you know, they give you a good amount, even for $5 a plate. It seems like a lot of money, but I'm full after three things. So, you know, I debated getting the lanyard. I thought about getting the eight item lanyard. I didn't get it. And here's the reason why I got one last year and I had a hard time finishing it. I had a hard time because if I only come and eat three things like today, then I still have, you know, five left and, um, I had a hard time coming and finishing it. I did force myself to come and finish it, but it was hard to for me. So that's why I didn't get it this time. But, you know, get a lanyard if you want to, because they have a lot of good food. This is the Pacific Coast Market. Crispy fish taco sounds delicious. Or deconstructed California roll. Look at the warm pear and apple cobbler in the ice cream cone. Yum. Fried calamari. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I think this is the deconstructed sushi. Interesting. That's really pretty. So lots of good stuff here to eat at the Seven Seas Food Festival at SeaWorld. Lots of good entertainment coming and all kinds of stuff. This right here, this construction area, this is the big crane. That's where that Infinity Falls is going. So if you're wondering that, it's going over here. Uh, this is Shamu Stadium. And so it's behind that. And uh, that's Mako right over there. So it's if you keep walking past Mako and you're headed towards Shamu, that's where it will be. All right, so that's supposed to open this summer. So lots of great stuff here at SeaWorld. And uh, come check it all out. Here is the band list for the concerts that are going to be here at Bayside Stadium. Today's the 24th of February. We got the Jacksons. Tomorrow is Lifehouse. Next week is Huey Lewis in the News. And Chris Young, Daughtry, Hanson, Hunter Hayes, Easton Corbin. 
America, Eli Young Band, and then they have um, some later that they're going to be announcing. The El Gran Combo, they're a great um, salsa band that's going to be here April 1st. So um, check some of these out. They're coming to SeaWorld. Stay tuned for the Jacksons. Everyone. We hope you enjoyed our time together here at SeaWorld today as we went through the Seven Seas Food Festival. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. Thanks for watching.